this may seem self serving but in any case hearing from you will probably highlight the case about the lack of understanding of the general populace about my community the syrian christians of kerala uh, i know you've said there is no historical proof of saint thomas having traveled to india you have to understand also that there is no not any there's no proof regarding the existence of jesus christ either but you will have to agree to the fact that the existence of christians in kerala long before the europeans embraced the religion i would also like to point out that my community has been persecuted by the portuguese simply because we did not adhere to their culture and traditions the kunan cross oath is the best example of that the schisms in the church in kerala at this time is testament to all the politics the portuguese and later the british played although in kerala our existence is understood it is my community's existence that the other people of my beloved country fail to understand we are after all by faith christian and by culture hindu your point of view will shed some light and many can then not conveniently paint everyone with the same brush i agree with you uh, gijo alex uh, this is a complex topic see the syrian or syriac christians of kerala are a community that seems to date back about 1900 years so clearly before any foreign occupation or invasion or occupation of india definitely more than a thousand years before the european invasions and occupation of india especially in southern india it was the portuguese so the this um, so the the syriac syrian christian community in india believes that they uh were converted by thomas the apostle saint thomas who came to india preached christianity and uh, and converted a number of people in the malabar region in the in the kerala region to uh christianity that is syriac or syrian christianity they they practiced their lit- liturgical rites in an ancient syriac language a dialect of the old aramaic language i believe and the, when the portuguese uh, occupied this part of india they tried to force these christians indian christians into adopting portuguese uh, a, a portuguese version of christianity in which latin was the predominant language not the aramaic dialect so they tried to impose this upon the local christians upon the syrian christians they im- tried to impose latin and other forms of uh, other portuguese forms of worship so at some point in time after about 50 years the syriac syrian christians rebelled against the portuguese they made this vow of, of affirmation which is called the kunan cross oath in which they rejected the portuguese flavor of christianity and reverted to their older uh, rituals and uh, aramaic language etc so, so to, they reverted to their older a uh, version or or rites of christianity so this was a, a repudiation of the european culture that had been brought into uh, this part of india so definitely it is true that the uh, syrian christians are a much older community it is believed to be about 1900 or so years old the belief is that it is saint thomas who converted them to christianity so listen the thing is this you are right there is no evidence of saint thomas there is no evidence of uh, the lord jesus himself they have archaeologists have been searching for evidence of uh, jesus christ for decades or centuries and thus far there is no hard evidence it doesn't mean he may not have existed he may perhaps have existed uh, thomas the apostle also most likely existed the only question is did he ever come to india i have no question i have no issue with e- even if he ha- actually did come to india the issue is the portrayal of indians in this story they portray indians as 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 primitive barbarians who who killed thomas the apostle because he was uh, converting indians there is no evidence that the, this gentleman ever came to india firstly and secondly there is no evidence whatsoever that he was murdered by indians but this is now the canonical story to show india in a bad light to show the people of india in a bad light so that is what i have a problem with that is what all indians would have a problem with with this fake depiction this false fabricated de- depiction of indians as uh, murderous barbarians right but apart from that yes you are right you the syrian christians are of course by culture and by dna hindu the, the funny thing is that uh, the curious thing is that uh, syrian christians some of them call each other call themselves mapila the word mapila is a honorific term that is uh, which means descendant of foreigners i believe even the muslims of kerala call themselves mapila 
So Mapila or Mopla, it means a descendant of foreigners, especially from the Middle East. So even the Syrian Christians consider themselves to be, at least some of them consider themselves to be descendants of people from the Middle East, from the uh, region of Judea and, and the Arabic regions, etc. So this is, a, I, I, this is a bit curious. I mean, so does it mean that the Syrian Christians are originally the descendants of some, some people who migrated to India from that region? And is it is that how the religion was brought into India? So the origins of this community are a little bit obscure. Um, the the official version is that Saint Thomas came and converted them, but it looks like because they call each other Mapila, etc., that they may actually be the descendants of a small group of migrants who came to this part of India for whatever reason. It's like the Afghan Pashtuns. The Afghan Pashtuns, they say that we are the descendants of one of the lost tribes of Israel. But DNA analysis shows that there is not, this is not the case. They are an extension of the overall Indian population. But the claim they make to, to perhaps to justify their conversion to, to the other religion, uh, to, to Islam, is that we are the descendants of, of Middle Easterners and all that. And the Pakistanis similarly claim descent from Turks, so I am not really sure what is the origin of this community. Of course, you are very much Indian. You are Indian by DNA. Uh, you practice a much older form of Christianity than these Europeans who try to impose a different form of Christianity on you. So by culture Hindu, I am not sure how culturally Hindu Christianity is. Um, yeah, it is true that many uh, Christians in, in India have Hindu names. I think the majority of Christians in India have Hindu names, but they practice Christianity. So by that sense, you could say that yes, Indian Christians are to some extent by, by culture Hindu. But on the other hand, there is definitely a very strong uh, movement towards explicitly re rejecting Hindu culture among Indian Christians, especially in the past one or two generations as uh, Christian conversions uh, pick up speed right now, which we are witnessing everywhere. So this is a very uh, complicated topic it is uh, the syrian christians are definitely a, a, one of the oldest christian communities in the world if you go by the official version that it is 1900 years old i would like to see some sort of dna analysis as to to see exactly what sort of dna uh, components this community has uh, is there any middle eastern or syrian uh, trace of dna among these people or not so th that's an interesting uh, topic but uh, so yeah, that's that's what I would have to say about this. This is a matter for debate. It's a matter that uh, needs more historical research, DNA research, and and, and much more. The uh, story of Thomas the Apostle traveling to India is very much a myth. Uh, some people said there is a church up on some hill, and that proves that the Saint Thomas was in India. How does the presence of a building on a hill prove anything? I mean, it proves nothing. Just because there is a church on some hill or whatever doesn't prove anything. It's just a building on a hill. It doesn't prove that some individual was in India 1900 years ago. The only way to prove that he was in India was if his remains are found in India or there is undeniable literary evidence from multiple sources that attests to the, to the fact that he was in India. But there is a marked absence of such evidence.